Life.org. I'm going to put forward a very, very easy, very quick five minute meditation practice here. And the aim of this video is to hopefully show how accessible the practice of meditation is. You know, I hear this all the time. Oh, I can't meditate. My mind never shuts down. I can never find stillness. I can never, you know, quiet that voice in my mind. I'm too busy. I've got too much energy. I've got this, da, 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 da. That might be what it seems like, but I guarantee each and every one of you have some activity that quiets your mind. I guarantee it. Maybe it's reading. Maybe it's cooking. Maybe it's walking. Maybe it's gardening, fly fishing, whatever it might be. It might be that those activities are your meditation, right? Anything that can quiet down your mind and bring you into a more singular focus is a meditation. Meditation doesn't mean that you're just sitting on the floor, on a cushion, you know, in cross leg position, and then reaching some sort of a Zen-like state. It's not at all. Meditation is a singular focus of the mind, or hopefully a zero focus of the mind. But for the sake of this video, we're going to look just at a singular pointed mind. And we're just gonna practice for a few short minutes, right? So I'm standing, you can do this both standing and seated, all right? And our focus is gonna be on our hands. Now to start, we're going to just keep the hands about chest width apart, facing. All right, so again, you can do this seated or you can do this standing. Regardless of standing or seated, make sure the back is nice and straight. Close the eyes and begin to breathe through your nostrils, through the nose. And I want you to bring all of your awareness to your hands. And so what does that mean? If you're brand new to meditation, you might hear statements like that all the time. That might be really annoying because nobody ever really explains it. So let me go in and explain it a little bit here. See, I'm standing and I can feel my feet, right? I can feel the weight of my body on my feet on the ground. I can feel my right calf muscle holding a little bit of tension. I can feel my shoulders. I can feel the saliva in my mouth. I can feel the glasses that I have on that are around my ears. I can feel my clothing. I can feel a lot of things but I want to isolate what I focus on. And so as I do that, I'm trying to pay particular attention to the feeling of my hands. I can still feel my calf. It's not like that stuff immediately falls away. But I focus and try to focus increasingly more so on just my hands. So I feel into my hands, feeling to my fingertips, feeling the palms as they start to buzz and tingle. And guess what? The calf is still there. The tension, the weight on my feet is still there. But as I focus more on my hands, those things fade. So as I just said, you know, when I just addressed them and said, it's still there, it's still there, then I could feel them even more. That's my awareness going back to other parts of the body. Keep it on the hands as best as you can and breathe. And as that sensation begins to change in the palms, stay with it, allow it to change. Almost as if you're watching it unfold as it evolves and grows and changes. If you're holding tension in your fingers, like if you're really trying to extend your fingers, just let them relax. Almost as if you were holding a ball between your hands. And 
Notice how the breathing is quieting down. Notice how the body begins to relax. The mind can be busy, just let it be busy. Focus on the hands. The mind can be still and just let it be still. My calf can ache, just let it ache. Focus on the hands. Singular focus. And see, as we stay in the singular focus, then the rest will finally give up. It may take longer. It may happen quickly. The feeling between the hands is getting stronger. Stay here with your focus. We'll practice here in silence for about a minute or so. And just very slowly, opening the eyes and just coming on back. But notice the state of the body here. Notice the state of the stillness, the breathing slowing down. Maybe some of those tensions or those other awarenesses in your body were able to finally relax. That's meditation, right? So I would encourage you to see this not as a practice that's impossible to grasp. And I can almost guarantee you with absolute certainty, anybody who says that they can sit down and quiet the mind immediately is not being true. It's not being honest. It's a very difficult thing to do, not only to accomplish, but to maintain. It's almost impossible. And so don't let that be a hurdle. Be the small victories here, the five minute practices or the recognition of meditation as you garden or as you read or whatever, when you get singularly focused on something, let that be your victory. And then let yourself recognize that you are meditating and it wasn't as difficult as you thought it was, or maybe you've heard it to be. So I hope that helps everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video to be beneficial to your own personal practice and maybe your own headspace or your physical space, then I really thank you for a subscription and hitting that like button on my channel. And have a wander through the rest of my videos. There's a lot of videos there to help you with your meditation practice and your energy healing practice and even plant medicines. And there's a lot on my channel that I hope will help you deepen your own internal practice. As always, everybody, thank you so much. Be well and in Gasha to all.